Hey guys, it's Dr. Dodvan here, board certified plastic surgeon here in Los Angeles. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my channel is dedicated to plastic surgery of the breast and body with a specific focus on gynecomastia and FTM top surgery. Today I want to talk about how do you avoid gynecomastia if you plan on taking anabolic steroids. Now, the disclaimer here is I'm not promoting the use of anabolic steroids or any performance enhancing drugs, but listen, I have a large bodybuilding population that come to me for their gyno. And so I wanna just have a frank discussion about how you can maybe avoid being one of those patients and avoid needing me. So number one, how do you get gyno if you're using a masculine hormone like testosterone. Well, the way it works is that your body's naturally making testosterone, that's what the testicles do, but if you're using anabolic steroids on top of that, now your body's got way too much testosterone running through the bloodstream. And the body's response to that is by converting that extra testosterone to estrogen. And then that estrogen then stimulates the breast tissue and that's why gyno occurs. So in order to combat the effects of having this increased level of estrogen in the body, a lot of bodybuilders will end up taking aromatase inhibitors or estrogen blockers to basically decrease that level of estrogen in their body and avoid getting the gynecomastia. Now, the timing is really important, and not to mention the fact that this should also be controlled with blood work to make sure we know what the levels of testosterone and estradiol are but it's important to know when to start taking those estrogen blockers or aromatase inhibitors. Really, once you start a cycle, around two weeks later is when you should really start taking an estrogen blocker or aromatase inhibitor and then carry on through the entire cycle. This will increase your chance of not having these spikes in estrogen that will stimulate the breast tissue. And also as you taper off the cycle, it will lead to less fluctuations of the hormone levels as you're coming off cycle. Now, the one thing I'll say is that this is the best way to avoid getting gyno, but it's not foolproof. I have plenty of patients who come in who've done the aromatase inhibitors and the estrogen blockers and they still get gyno. Like they always say, even a condom's not 100% successful all the time. And that's when you come to me and I will then surgically treat the gynecomastia. So again, the disclaimer is I'm not promoting the use of anabolic steroids. However, if you're considering using them, do yourself a favor and consider using estrogen blockers. However, do it under the care and guidance of a medical professional so they can monitor your response, your blood work, so you have the best outcome with the lowest chance of getting gyno. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want more information on all topics gynecomastia, check out my Instagram page, my TikTok page, and of course, my YouTube channel. Till next time, guys.